Hi and welcome to BXM Expeditions Contour Line Training. So this is very important when you're looking at, in a, when you're going to a mountainous terrain or a place where there's lots of hills, certainly silver or bronze level, you should be quite keen on learning about contour lines and understanding how we use them. So we use contour lines to see whether we're walking uphill, downhill, whether it's a steep hill. We use them to identify the shapes of mountains or the shapes of hills so that we can identify exactly where we are. So what we're going to do now is zoom in on the map and have a look at this area here. So a few little points about this area. Firstly, there is a cairn at the top and there's a small uh, trig point. There's a small fine blue triangle which um, is a trig point. So that would suggest to us that, that is the top of the hill. Now the reason I've picked this hill to look at in the Brecon Beacons is this hill goes around and it is literally a hill. If you were seeing that in 3D it would come up towards you evenly, pretty much evenly all the way around. However, it is certainly steeper on this side than it is on this side of the hill. So south of this hill is, is not quite as steep as, as the north. And the reason I can tell that is these contour lines, these small orange lines, fine orange lines, are closer together here than they are here. On the top of this hill, it seems to have a fairly flat plateau. Certainly there's an area here and an area at the top where there's no contour line, so that would suggest that it's fairly flat. Now that might not be completely true because contour lines on this map here are 10 metres apart. And I can tell this because they go up here 520, then there's one contour line, two contour line, 550, 560, miss one, 580, miss one, 600. So they're going up in 10 metres. Now if you were to imagine, these 10 metre lines here are fairly close together, which means it must gain height very quickly. These ones here are not quite, if you like, they're shallower. Some people would say they're shallower. and They, would, they go down, at a, they're not quite as steep, they're much less steep. Now, how can I tell that that is up and it doesn't go down? Well, it's quite simple. These numbers here, where it goes 550, 560, 580, they will be the right way up for that hill. So if you look a bit higher up here, up here, the numbers are upside down if I'm looking at the map the right way up. And the reason they are upside down is because the hill comes this way. So this is how we tell, one, how high we are above sea level, two, how steep it is, and three, whether we're going up or downhill. However, there's another really important thing to look at with contour lines, and that's the shape of them. This here, this hill here, comes around and then dips into a gully. And interestingly, in this gully, like a lot of gullies, in fact, most gullies have some sort of water source coming down them. And that might be, that might be the way it's, that might be the reason it's got that gully is because of that water source over a period of years eating away at this mountain and er eroding it. So, there's a, so this comes around here. If you were stood here, looking at this mountain here, or yeah, this mountain, you would see that it comes around here and it goes in for a gully comes back out and in for a much bigger gully here. You would also see, looking this way, there's, there's a gully here that comes into this hill and then back out again. And then you'd be able to see this plateau on top. On a very clear day, you'd be able to see this, that there's a plateau and a flat piece on top of this contour line. Now, if we go across the map here, I know we've done some good references on here already, you can see that these orange lines here are very close together and it's almost a dark shaded orange around here. Now this would suggest that this is very very steep. In fact climbers look for this type of place because that would suggest that it's a cliff. And what's, what um, is further evidence of that is there's some very fine black squiggly cloud-like lines on the side of these contour lines which would suggest it's rocky so you couldn't walk up and down it. In fact, there is a path that goes diagonally across here, so that would suggest that there is a well, way down there, but you couldn't just walk up any of this place. So where there are lots of contours close together, this here actually goes from 670, or sorry, 610, up to 802 metres above sea level. So that goes up nearly 200 metres in height, that is a period of less than one kilometre. So it's very, very steep, it's making a lot of ground very, very quickly. Now I'm sure from this point here, in fact I know from this point here you have a beautiful view of the lake, but it's very steep. 
So this is how we use contour lines, and obviously where there's no contour lines, then we're looking at a fairly flat piece of land. So that might take you on to learning about camping and certain sites you might look for for camping. Would this be a good place here? By a water source and fairly flat. Well, maybe, but then we're looking at our area features and there's some marshland there, potentially marshy. So that might not be such a great place. So now we're looking at using our contour lines for other parts of our expedition. And we're looking at, you know, would we be using it for, um, would we be using it for our camping ground? Would it be a good place to stop and rest? So we use our contour lines in, in all aspects of the expedition. So the best bet now for, for you would be to actually try and draw, try and draw some hills and draw some, think about a shape of a hill and draw the contour lines to how that would suit the shape of your hill. Good luck.